Okay, uh, let's talk about Inversify. So Inversify is a dependency injection or inversion of control container for JavaScript and Node.js apps, or it's like a the missing piece that you need in order to achieve all of these, you know, clean architecture or layered architecture or any type of separation of concerns, you know, modular architectures in your Next.js apps. Yeah, so uh, installing this in Next.js was a little bit tricky, but I found a really cool way. Uh, check this out. First, you need to just install it. So if I go to package.json, I only have, where is it, Inversify, there we go. Inversify at the time of recording this video is 602. Yeah, just install Inversify. And then you need to set up your dependency injection container. So inside source, I have a DI folder and a container.ts, right? So this is our main container for the app. We have the modules, for example, a module for the authentication, the collection, the collections, and links. And these are basically features in your application. <clears throat> Here's how we create the application container with the default scope set to singleton, but you can change this. This is basically how you want Inversify to instantiate your services or use cases or whatever. And then we just initialize the container by loading all of the modules that, you know, make up our backend. We invoke the initialized container and we just export a get injection um, function that we can use across our app to get these services, right? That's it. Let's pick at, uh, let's pick the collections module so we can get a better idea to what it is. So the collections module is a container module type that comes from Inversify. And what it does is basically it binds, in our case, an interface with a specific implementation. So we have an iCollections repository. It uh, uses a symbol. Let me show you this. It uses like a, a symbol to identify all of these uh, services and repositories and basically the injections. It binds this interface to this uh, implementation of it, and it does this at runtime. So in here, we have an opportunity to use environment variables or use some type of, you know, or just come up with a way to change what gets bound to what interface so in our case this is using the i don't know production collections repository that actually uses superbase to interact with the database but this might be wrapped with something like this if dot process dot environment dot node environment equals production then we want to do this but what if for example we want to do testing, right? In this case, what we can do, how is the environment? Oh, it's just test. Yeah. In this case, we can do mock collections repository. We don't have it right now, but this is what you can do, right? If it's testing, register this. If it's production, register this. And what this allows us to do is Later in the application, when we're, you know, building our business logic and stuff, we can say, give me the service or give me the injection that is bound to this interface. And depending on the environment, it's going to return us either the mock collections repository or the actual production. If you have a staging deployment, you can do that here as well. So this is what basically Inversify allows us to do, right? We have the modules and this is the collections module. So it registers the collections repository and the collections use cases. And I'll talk about this later. So let me show you how everything looks like. I'm going to go into the applications use cases and let's go to the collection collections use case, right? 
This is the class. It is a use case class. It is marked as injectable. That's how you um, that's how you tell in Versify that you're going to treat this and inject this class. And inside of this constructor, you can already see that we are injecting the authentication service and we're also injecting the collections repository that I just showed to you. But we're using the interface as the type for the types and also the symbol for the uh, for the container to identify what or which repository or which injectable we want to inject into this class. So when we run this in production, we're going to be using the production collections repository. When we run unit tests, we're going to be using the mock uh, collections repository because we don't have a database during testing. If we want to spin up a preview or a staging environment, we don't need to change our code. We just need to change how we register these uh, services and repositories and use cases, how we register our mechanisms, if you will. So that is basically Inversify, right? This is how we use it here. We're also registering the use cases. We need to because these use cases, even though they do not have an uh, interface and they do not have different implementations per use case, we still need to register and inject them because in the constructor they do use um, they do inject other services. So they need to be wrapped with Inversify as well. And how we use these, let's go to let's go to collections and actions. So these are Next.js server actions right here. And if you see here in a create collection server action, we're using the get injection method that I just showed you previously to get the instance of the collections use cases. And the collections use cases is basically a service that exposes different methods for working with collections. And as you can see down here, we have a collections use cases dot create collection. It receives an input and then it gives us a type um, a specific type back, right? Just a, a simple service. But all of the code inside is properly set up. We're using the repository here. We're using the authentication service here. And these are injected and registered depending on what the environment is being set, or we can even dynamically register them uh, at runtime. So if you just do this and run this, you're going to have issues. Um, what you need to do is also install the reflect metadata package. And because dependency injection needs reflections, um, you do need to install this package to enable JavaScript to, um, you know, to enable JavaScript to reflect the metadata that you set up from uh, building the classes and such. I do not understand the entire aspect of, you know, reflections and the reflect met and what the reflect metadata package does, but basically it does um, export some additional info for each of the classes and interfaces. And that's what Inversify uses to achieve dependency injection, right? So you need to install this one as well. For the types, you need to go to your tsconfig file and set up the, which were the uh, experimental decorators, the at injectable that we saw. You need to enable experimental decorators and also emit decorator metadata. This is, you can also read this in the documentation site. Here's the inversify, here's reflect metadata, here's the um, two properties, the, the two compiler options that I just talked about. But in Next.js, that's not all. What you also need to do is bring in the reflect metadata package. Let me show you. The reflect metadata polyfill should be imported only once in your entire application because the reflect object is meant to be a global singleton. Yeah, this doesn't really work well in Next.js. So I tried importing reflect metadata everywhere 
and it still didn't work. So after battling it with this for some time, I actually figured that it the the solution that worked the best is to go into your next config uh, file and override the webpack configuration. Use the banner plugin, which gets all of the uh, compiled chunks uh, after building it. It gets all of the compiled chunks and it does add a banner text, which is at the top of the file. The banner plugin is usually used for, you know, adding documentation and or license and, and stuff like that. But in this case, we're going to use it to add that reflect metadata. And I know that this is not, this is going to add it in all of the chunks, but so far, I haven't seen any side effects. So doing this will work both um, when you run your app locally and also when you run your app in Vercel. So I tried this, it works in Vercel. I still haven't found any side effects, but using the banner plugin seems like the straightforward way to uh, import and you know make the reflect metadata package work in Next.js. So this is a Next.js specific issue or a challenge that you need to overcome and this is how i found yeah this is the best way that i found to to overcome it so that is basic in inversify and let's just like test it out and see if it works here are here's the buffet app that we just saw am i running this yes i am uh you saw that there was the collections actions right the create collection we're using the get inject we're using the get injection method that we just saw previously to obtain the instance of the collections use cases, which we registered in our collections module. And then we're going to use it to create a collection. And inside of it, it also uses the collections repository, which is also injected through the container and the collections repository use a super base under the hood to create the collection with the input that we sent. So if we do create collection, hello stream, how are you? And we hit create. There we go. The collection is created. It's in the database. Let's just go to super base, go back to public collection. There we go. Hello stream, how are you? So everything works nicely. Everything works as expected. That is Inversify. That's what Inversify allows us to do. And thanks for watching. If you like this, share this with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one.